Economic growth shocked in the first quarter, contracting 2.2%, the lowest quarterly decline since the second quarter of 2009 uh, during the global financial crisis. As uh, Stats South Africa says the contraction of the economy was broad-based, but it was the productive sectors of the economy behind the shrinkage. Agriculture plunged 24% on the back of the drought in the Western Cape, leading to a decrease in field crop and fruit harvest. Mining contracted by 10% due to the drop in production of gold, platinum crude metals and iron ore. Manufacturing also shrank, driven mainly by a fall in basic iron and steel, petroleum and chemical production. It is concerning, especially uh, now that gross fixed capital formation, so fixed investment actually contracted again in this quarter by 3.2%. After having expanded at the end of last year by 7%, uh, it is concerning because fixed investment is a, a crucial ingredient for creating sustainable economic growth and job creation. Unemployment is still hovering at around 27%. Uh, youth unemployment, there are some estimations, uh, is about 57%. So every second young South African cannot find work. And so it is uh, crucial that um, the policies are directed towards raising investment. Uh, and uh, otherwise, we are not going to make enough progress. Manufacturing seems to be recovering slightly. April's manufacturing production rebounded by 1.1% year-on-year from a contraction of 1.3% year-on-year in March, while for the three months to April it fell by 3%. Still, the recent Purchasing Managers Index suggests marginal improvement in the sector. The 1.1% growth rate year-on-year -year in April for manufacturing production is really not a very good figure. It's below our expectations. We had expected that the figure would be a little higher uh, for the simple reason that in last year's uh, April we had the full Easter long weekend, whereas this year uh, only part of the Easter long weekend fell into April and therefore there was actually an additional working day which ought to have actually boosted growth. When you take that, uh, adjust for that day, uh, extra day, uh, manufacturing production actually declined somewhat. Economists expect the economy to fare better this year, but say due to the first quarter poor outcome, GDP growth forecast will most likely be revised downwards slightly. The Saki Business Confidence Index, moderated by two index points between April and May, compared to May last year, the BCI was up 0 0.8 index points. The rent depreciated to its lowest level since December 2017 on an emerging market risk aversion ahead of today's G7 summit and next week's Federal Reserve, European Central Bank and Bank of Japan meetings. Fuel prices went up this week with motorists having to pay at least 82 cents more per litre of petrol and 87 cents more per litre of diesel. It was the third consecutive fuel hike this year and there is a possibility of another increase next month. States SA will next week release the retail trade sales and mining production figures for April. ACBC News, Johannesburg. Uh, now, several stories broke uh, just before we went on air at 6 o'clock. One of them, this, the Public Servants Association, the PSA, has called off the public servants strike that was set down for Monday. Earlier, they were speaking to us about a planned day of rage that could affect several government departments. Now, this comes after Kasatu affiliated unions, the Hawu Pop Crew, sat to a health, uh, health union, the Nosa, Pawusa and Sama, all announced that they had accepted the 6 to 7% wage hike deal. The signed deal will see the lowest paid employees receive 7% and the highest paid uh, about 6% for those top earners. Public servants will receive their wage increments backdated until April. Let's speak to the Public Servants Association that was standing in opposition to Kasatu that had earlier suggested that it would sign the deal. The PSA said that it was going to hold out and it would hold out with 230,000 of its members. So what changed uh, to discuss? We're joined by Tahir Maepa from our studio uh, in Pretoria. Uh, Mr. Maepa, did you realize that this was a, a non-starter because there was a majority without you guys? 
Well, uh, we always known that the uh, Corsetti unions uh, have the majority. We just thought that they will have a conscience and do the correct thing. Because uh, a position of a majority for a trade union is a position of trust. That people have, uh, are relying on you right by them. Right decisions on their behalf, decisions that will prosper them, not decisions that will cause harm to them. And in this particular case, this uh, particular agreement, it is harming the public servants, and the public servants are going to pay the price for the next three years. And as an organization, we are completely dissatisfied and very disappointed by the fact that we were prevented to fight a, a noble battle on behalf of the public servants by the union that we trusted that they are part of a collective to fight for economic and also for financial emancipation of public servants. The, the wage bill for public servants is huge uh, and it, it's been said to be unsustainable. This wage increase, 6 to 7 percent, is above inflation. South Africa has been uh, saved from uh, possible pain in terms of uh, government departments being affected. So, uh, Mr. Maepe, is, it, is it this really not a good outcome? Well, I, I will never agree that this is a good outcome. It is a good outcome for government. But we must also understand uh, this point. How did we get to a point whereupon we are in this economic disarray? We need to also appreciate the fact that it is not because of uh, the public servants. It is because of wrong political decisions that have been taken. And it is because of that that we find ourselves in this particular situation. The public servants are expected Still render services under very extreme circumstances. As you would have known, the public service uh, 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 departments are falling apart, and we are the ones who are holding them uh, uh, to, 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 to performance. And we are the ones who, whose money has been used to bail out uh, the SAAs of this world and the ESCOM of this world. Nobody has ever come to us and say to the public servants, thank you very much for over 300 billion that we have used without your permission to save the economy of this country. And yet, when we say we want a noble, a little of that money back into our pocket, everybody is saying that we are unreasonable. We will never accept that argument. Mm. The, the minister was with us earlier. She said, historically, you often don't strike when Kasatu strikes. You often want to strike when Kasatu doesn't strike. Is, is this not about a union rivalry at all? No, 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 no. The, the, the PSA will never uh, take their members on strike for no apparent reason. We'll never take our members out to strike because we don't like some politician. We'll never uh, compromise uh, the prosperity of our members. The only time when PSA goes on strike, it is because we are left with no other alternative. If you go to these unions that you are referring to, go and look at what they are striking for. Everything that they are striking for, it's got nothing to do with bread and butter issues of, our, of, of their members. We are saying this was an opportunity to liberate our members financially. And we've been, that opportunity was taken away from us, not by the government, not by the employer, by, by these unions. And we are saying that it was only fair for them to allow us to go on the strike. They said to us, we can't pull the numbers. They said to us that we'll never be able to run a successful strike. What made them to be scared now? Why did they sign this agreement at the 11th hour when they know that the PSA has, uh, has prepared for a massive strike in the public service? They knew that we were going to be successful. They knew that we were going to hold the, the government to, uh, to, 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 to account. But they saved it because, not because of their members, because of the alliances that they have with the state. Where does this leave us as South Africans? So your day of rage on Monday, the, the strike has been called off, but it sounds like you, perhaps your members, are still pretty unhappy. Will you give South Africa uh, the, the service it, it also expects from government departments now? If there's one thing about PSA members, they always give a good service, and we are going to encourage our members to co go back and save our nation as we're supposed to save them. We are not going to take this 
upon uh, uh, citizens who have got nothing to do with this. But this day of rage that has been suspended is not off. It has been suspended. It's going to be a three years of rage. And in these three years, we are going to do, we're going to make justice. And the only way to get justice to make sure that we take away the majority status that this union have, that they are misusing. So that after three years, then sanity and justice will prevail. All right, thank you very much. Uh, from the Public Servants Association, Tahir Maepa. Now, re remember that Kasati unions have signed in the public sector uh, accepting a wage deal, and once there is a majority, uh, the minister can implement that wage hike. So 6 to 7% is a reality, despite opposition from the Public Servants Association. It has now called off its strike action, but still angry about that, as you can hear. Shante?